Today I'm speaking to Atu Kobise, who is an international chess master, who will be talking to us about the benefits of chess in terms of teaching children about mathematics and just helping them to do better at school. Hello Atu, it's nice to meet you. Hi Vicky, thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, it's great to talk to you. Um, I thought we could perhaps start by talking a bit more about you and how you got into chess. Uh, I started playing when I was four and uh, started, my father taught me. Then uh, I started playing competitively from the age of five. Um, and uh, yeah, I've won many events. Uh, I've won the SA Open Championship, SA Closed Championship a number of times. Um, I've also won the African Championship in 2001. I hold the title of international uh, master basically it's one title less than grand master which is the you know the highest level um so that is the competitive side i mean i've played professionally for for more than 30 years um played all over the world and uh but i also have ventured into the the the, the coaching side of things i uh I am, uh, you know, a feeder uh, coach, and uh, and uh, I also started, you know, uh, teaching sort of because uh, understanding the benefits that that one can have from chess, and uh, so I've been playing, but I've also been teaching a lot, and uh, and uh, that is what I'm doing at the moment. So it's it's a passion really. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically that. So, I mean, you've been playing for a long time if you started at the age of uh, four, which is crazy to think. Um, throughout your life, what do you think, how has chess benefited you? And how do you, why do you think other people should learn to play chess? I think that, you know, chess, uh, uh, there are many benefits that you get from chess. Uh, it's a mind game, you know. You 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 are really uh, the board is, is is really merely an expression of, of what you are thinking in your in your mind, and um, so what actually happens is is that you, you you get to train all your 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 mental faculties, you know, your concentration, your visualization. Uh, problem solving is also a, a big part of, of 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 what you 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 learn. But more than anything, uh, I think that if you teach chess to a, a a a young kid of let's say six or seven, there are many benefits and concepts that they will they will immediately learn. I will make an example of this. If we were to look at a chess board. <clears throat> So this would be, you know, the the uh, uh, the first thing you would learn, so to speak, in chess, and you you would see that the, the chessboard has um, eight sort of lines marked as A up to H, and other lines marked one to eight. So those are, uh, if you were to imagine in, in in mathematics the Cartesian plane, we would we would be having two lines that would be going like that mm. right and we would have this as our x axis and that as our y axis mm. all right so that the, this Cartesian plane you would use mathematics and physics and in, in, in many different map reading you know uh, basically it's a very important tool to to master and and how you name the coordinates it's exactly the same as we, we would in chess so for example uh, we start with the the alphabets. So, for an example, this square over here, we would start with C. We would say it's C three. So we are joining the the C file and the third rank. So in mathematics, you would you would think that we would be calling the two coordinates. You know, the the y uh, uh, coordinate and the x uh, uh, coordinate, and. Um, and for example, a, a, a diagonal in chess would be if you take two squares, let's say we take this square, which is A1, mm -hmm. and we link it up with 
the other square, which is H8, which would be over there. So we're talking about two coordinates here. And, and then this diagonal in chess, we, we name A1 to H8 diagonal, or we name it H8 to A1 diagonal. Mm. And that uh, is actually the equation of a straight line, uh, you know, but you would be doing this, um, you'd be teaching this concept to a, a, a young kid, and they would just be sort of seeing it as a game and they wouldn't even know that they are actually learning. They would just think, okay, I'm learning chess and I'm learning the, 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 the basics. But, um, so that is where my, my, my actual motivation comes in because what we have been doing in the past, we, we've only been looking at, at chess as a sport, you know, and, and everyone will say, okay, well, this is chess. And if you want to take it further, do this and that and play the competitions, but, you can actually look at chess as an as an aid for for, for education, where you are showing uh, with the intention, you know, understanding that okay, I'm going to take chess, and but the main intention is not necessarily to 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 produce a champion chess player, but to produce somebody who knows how to play, but who can then understand that these concepts that they are learning from chess they can use for for outside chess, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that is that is the main motivation, and I think that you know that's what uh, encourages me to teach more and more people uh, chess. Yeah. You touched briefly on the benefits of chess uh, for children. So, um, can you go into a bit more detail? If a parent allows their child to learn chess, what benefits can they expect? Well, you see that chess is a game that takes many concepts. I think in order for me to, to explain that, I will go to, to uh, you know, uh, another example. Let us, for an example, say you are not so good with language mm -hmm. and you are then uh, encouraged, you know, to sort of debate, to be part, to be a member of the, of the debating team. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are debating, what is it that you are going to be doing? You're going to be competitive. You'll be competing in a fun way, uh, but to get yourself ready, you are going to have to, to learn certain language uh, words. You're going to have to, you know, know the meaning of, of languages. You're going to have to learn to, to, to think on your feet and, and argue and so on. So I think that, you know, that is precisely what is, would be happening with, with chess because first and foremost, I showed you the board, you know, mm -hmm. and the board is more like a Cartesian plane. Number two, the pieces. The pieces themselves have got have got value. You've got a piece that is worth five points, a piece that is worth three points, a piece that is worth nine points, a piece that is worth a point, and so on and so on. You know, and you've got all these pieces. And when you are calculating, as the pieces exchange, remember before you you you, you exchange the pieces, you have to think: if I go there, that piece will take me, and I will take back, mm -hmm. right? And you are already having to calculate using mathematics in order for you to see who's up, who's down. But it's not just, just a question of mathematical value. It's also a question of strength. You know, sometimes the value itself is, is, is not absolute. You know, the same way as in life, you would understand that the value is not absolute. Um, you know, uh, so at some point you may, you may trade a piece that is worth five points with a piece that is worth one point for certain benefits, right? So now you are starting to understand, you, you, you're getting the kid to understand the value and, and, and understanding the changing in value, you know? So later on, uh, you know, you, 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 you'd find that uh, a, a piece may be, for an example, let's say a bishop in chess. There may be a bishop which has which is worth more than the other bishop for the mere reason of where the bishop is or where the pawn structures like you know the structure of the other pieces means that this bishop has more value will do more than the other bishop so if i wanted to trade this bishop for the other bishop that you would have in chess to understand the, the the value of that you know that this actually shows you i mean with things that are in the world dynamic you know if you think about currency you know, why a certain, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, 
why then you would have differences in currencies, for an example, you know, and all these factors, you would, you would be in a position to better understand it, mm. that, you know, it's not just one in one, there are other factors that are involved in the one, you know, um, so, and that was just, for example, in the mathematical side, but then comes the logical side, the idea of, of solving problems and understanding that when you are solving a problem, there is a method that you have to introduce. And we learned this, for example, in mathematics. Uh, let's say we want a value that we don't know, where we, we have uh, uh, values that we know and the value we don't know. So we put the value that we, we know on one side and the value that we don't know on the other side, mm -hmm. right? And then we'll find out what the value in comparison with the other values is, right? So that you know you would you would you would then uh also sort of uh, try to solve in in chess but not necessarily in a in a in a raw mathematical way in that way you would you would be trying to figure out how you can do something but there will be a specific thought process that you have to go through you have to also look at the knowns and the unknowns you have to say to yourself what is it that i know about this position i know i can do this i know i can do that so you you have to look at the absolutes what you know we've got we've got sort of knowns well at a higher level in chess um which is called you know strategy you know that in such a given position this and that and that is capable of doing this you know so these are the things you would be using to find the knowns and you would then be using them to find the unknown which would be how should I proceed with my strategy? So it's it's how to formulate a strategy, but it's also um, how to to uh, uh, to solve a problem. Mm. And 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 there are many methods we learn in chess. You know, uh, uh, solving a problem backwards, um, process of elimination. Uh, you know, all all of these uh, uh, problem solving ideas you are going to be learning. You you are going to be learning in chess. And then the other benefit that you're going to have in chess is the question of concentration. Mm. You, you will improve your concentration because, well, if you do not improve your concentration and pay attention, you will lose game after game after game. That is, that is clear. So in order for you to be competent, you are going to have to, to concentrate. But what, I, what, is, what does that mean? It means the information that has happened before, you're going to have to be aware of. And you're going to have to be aware of the information that is constantly changing as your opponent plays a specific move. What does this mean in relation to what I have seen before, right? And what do I want to do? And all of this information you have to piece together and be able to balance. Mm. And um, so a kid learns this at a very young age to, in order for them to be competitive. And it is a very, very uh, powerful tool, you know. Um, there are others, of course, visualization, where you have to calculate, because in chess, when you are calculating forward, you are obviously reaching a, a situation where some pieces will have, have been exchanged. They will no longer be in the position they are on. Mm -hmm. But how do you do that? Well, what, what you have to do, you, you, you basically almost have to take a photograph of the position, a mental photograph, and then you have to visualize and you have to imagine the pieces moving. And you have to visualize the end uh, uh, result. So you know what 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 does this mean? You know this this obviously teaches you a very important uh, uh, you know principle that you can um, apply in life. That you you are saying, well, I know what I want to do, but maybe I need to calculate further mm. and say, having done that, what are the 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 you know the the the, the, the what could happen? Mm. You know um, what. Um, uh, you know, what was the, what, 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 what the, yeah, exactly, you know, and, and you'd have to go into it. And uh, so I think that, the, you know, that uh, would be of benefit to a, 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 a learner who would take up, who would take up chess. Yeah. No, I have no doubt because all of those skills are extremely important for school going children. So yeah, they're, they're definitely all extremely important. Um, so do you have um, any like specific examples of how um, you've seen chess benefits um, some of the kids that you've worked with? Well, absolutely. I mean, um, I've, I've been involved in a number of uh, 
projects, um, you know, um, throughout my, 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 my coaching life. And there was one very extremely powerful one. We actually were, worked with uh, MTN at one stage. And we went, it, it was in Gauteng, we went to a, a school called Sizwe, and uh, it was a high school. And they were, they actually had a, a difficult metric, metric year, the, the, you know, the year before. So we went there and we, we taught the whole school how to play chess. And uh, we were very much involved with the matriculants as well. Um, and so what they were, but then what actually happened afterwards, they would stay after school and they would play against each other. But as they were playing, they would, you know, do their homework. They would, because what we introduced, you know, in chess is also literature. You know, you introduce literature that in order for you to improve, uh, you have to look at this and that. There are various sites that you can go to. You have to read up a little bit. You have to do some bit of research mm. uh, in order for you to, to, to improve yourself. And um, we found out that, the, you know, there was a, a really big impact uh, in the, on the edu educational side of things. And uh, we actually even had one learner who got 100% in mathematics, but it was standard grade then. Um, and uh, so, <laughs> yeah, 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 of course, you know. And, and uh, I'm not claiming that it was, it was only chess, but basically uh, it opens the door. You know, it opens the door to to, to uh, it's an attitude, you know, it is, it is more than anything an attitude. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's like the, the many different uh, experiments and arguments by many various uh, experts that says, you know, the, 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 the Asian kids are, are leading kids when it comes to mathematics because of the attitude that the society has to not only mathematics, but the, you know they were finding out, they were finding out that it's just in 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 paying attention, you know. And they were they were saying that you know in in those communities a lot of them, for example, they would they would grow rice, and the whole process of how to grow rice is you know it's a process that is 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 you you have to be careful, you have to look back, you have to you know you have to be really paying attention to a number of things, and 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 that has rubbed off. To the general uh, uh, ability, you know, ability, and they were even going further and saying, you know, so I'm still answering the question. <laughs> where I'm saying such an attitude, you know, where they were actually saying that they made a questionnaire which had nothing to do with the math with mathematics, but this questionnaire had so many questions that needed to be answered. It was around hundred and something, and they were doing it in in various uh, areas around the world. And they found that in the Western countries, the kids would not even finish the questionnaire. Mm. You know, they, 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 they just wouldn't even finish it. And but the kids in, in, in the Asian countries would finish the questionnaire. So it's, 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 it's all about the attitude that you are having, you know. So what I'm trying to say is that that is for me what, what, what chess can do for the learner. And uh, I have seen it do this in, with many different, different learners. I mean, uh, I I I, uh, I teach at, uh, at 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 a school at the moment, and you can actually tell. And even some kids who at first cannot concentrate that much, you know that there are some problems with concentration. And uh, and and then you, you you see once you 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 you, you let the, the the chess bug, so to speak, uh, get hold of them, then there is an outlet. You know there is somewhere where the kid can all of a sudden. Uh, uh, think, mm -hmm. and the, the the point is, it's not about thinking to tr to try and find an answer, like you would normally have at school, because at school we it, the 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 structure of the education is very much about question and answering. Mm -hmm. your, your your thinking process has to lead to some answer, right? Um, but so chess gives you that op that that opportunity to think without necessarily having to come up with an answer per se, because you cannot come up with an answer because the, your, your opponent is constantly putting, changing the situation, constantly putting, you know, problems in your, in your, in your path. So yeah, that is what I have noticed in terms of what chess can do with uh, various uh, students. But I have to, to mention this, uh, the game itself, 
it does not necessarily mean it will translate to benefits. Mm. Look, if I gave somebody a chessboard and say, well, that's this is how you move with the chessboard and play. You know, the person will be playing chess. They can play chess every day of their lives, but that is moving plastic. You know, it's it's, it's a game. You, 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 you understand what I mean? There's a difference. They would be playing the game and they might even start playing well and they might even go to chess tournaments and they might do well in chess tournaments. But that has nothing to do with necessarily the, how they would be able to transform, transform themselves. Mm. It has to be something that you you show the student that right now you have to say to the student, we are working on logic right now, mm. you know, and once we, we, we let, we're working on logic, you have to say, you have to, the student has to understand if I can solve this, I am able to solve any other logical problem because I will take the steps. First, I will see what do I know about the situation? The, the question of asking questions and how to ask questions. Uh, you know, this you learn in chess, that you don't, the, the, the process you need is to be able, you need to ask yourself questions, but there's a skill to this. Yeah. You cannot ask yourself questions you cannot answer. Mm. If you ask yourself questions you cannot answer, you, you, you are not moving, you're not moving forward. You need to ask yourself questions that you can answer, but small little questions. Mm. And when you if, you, if you, if you hit a brick wall, you need to be able to move around the brick wall. You know, it's not about finding the answer. It's like what I'm saying. It's not about what is the answer to this. It's about the understanding of the environment, the understanding of what I'm trying to do. And you, you learn the different techniques of moving around and, and saying, okay, I, with, in this process, I'm not doing anything. Let's try prophylactic thinking, for an example. That is something that you do a lot in chess. And you say, I'm going to do nothing. Okay, I want to find a solution. If I am doing nothing, what will happen, right? If I stay static, what's going to happen? Okay, that is going to happen, and that is going to happen, and that is going to happen. Sometimes you might have to make preventive measures in order to move forward, you know, and that, and that situation is like that in life. If you're in a crisis, first you might have to just simply deal with the crisis, make sure that you're not sliding further into, into, into a problem, you know. So there are many ways to tackle a, a, a problems and 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 um, that for me is is what I've seen that that transformation in, in 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 kids and people who play chess and more importantly the confidence you know chess gives you that confidence um, to be, because all it's doing it's making you aware mm. right it's making you aware of what you can do mm. once you 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 start practicing it and um, yeah that's that. I was actually sitting here thinking while you were talking that it sounds to me like something that would build confidence. Um, but as you say, um, you need, uh, you know, it's not just any chess, like you couldn't just get a chess tutorial online. You need someone who can connect those dots um, in order to receive these benefits. But these benefits sound like they extend beyond just academic. I mean, this sounds like you, you can teach life skills absolutely um it is it is just it's not just uh the 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 as you say the educational benefits that you are you are you are you you, you get to you know you're deriving from chess it is indeed life skills it's um it's about thinking before you make a move you know it's about uh, uh i'll make an example uh, to you uh had a student competitive though this was competitive and mm -hmm. they were very arrogant in their nature and uh, and uh, nothing wrong with that but okay they were arrogant <laughs> and um and then uh, yeah the kid was struggling in a in a in a in a very important competition and i said to them yeah you see but what you are doing you are communicating with your body language to your opponent you 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 communicate you like communicating with your body language even outside chess mm. this is fine it can be some advantage but when we are talking about somebody trying to read what you know and what you don't know you are in a big disadvantage because when you get there the way you you flourish the way you move in the pieces it lets me know okay this person is comfortable they know now what is happening but once we get to a certain situation now your body your body uh, 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 demeanor and everything changes now now aha now they are not so confident now they don't know you know they are not do you understand so the way 
you 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 so then that person they had to learn and you'll be surprised the transformation that they had to go through and 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 after working with the student for a couple of 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 of, of years they actually they they were a different person you know uh, to when i started with them to you know at a certain point because they understood immediately that this whole thing thinking i'm bullying somebody thinking that i'm look at me i'm so special or whatever uh, when you are talking about a, a a a closed you know space and 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 somebody is 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 talking is looking at you and you are talking with your actions that can be a disadvantage but the same can be can be said in terms of of community you know negotiating you could be negotiating it could be in business right you could be negotiating a deal and if you are not well trained in terms of being able to restrain yourself the language you're going to use the manner in which you're going to use the tone mm. is going to give a lot away yeah. you know so 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 i was just making i'm just making an example of you know what you you, you learn uh, in chess um you know just in terms of behavior and 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 more importantly i i uh, you know it's not just a, a, a saying that that says you know but chess players they really respect each other but that is not just chess players that is competition mm. you know competitors respect each other and competitors respect each other for a very simple reason number one competitors understand that in order for me to improve i need a good opponent that is what as a, when you're starting out you don't know this you think that you just want to win yeah. But when you hit a plateau and you realize that I am not getting better, you start realizing I'm not getting better because I'm not playing against good opponents. Mm. You need that good opponent. You need that adversary that is going to, 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 to see something that is going to push you. When, when they push you, they, they, they actually are making you better. You know, and sometimes in chess, you, 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 it, it will sound strange, but competitive chess now, uh, sometimes in competitive chess, you 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 learn. We all know you learn more from your losses than your wins, right? We everybody hates losing. You don't want to lose, but it's very very necessary. It's a necessary process. It's a process that 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 lets you reflect, lets you go back, and and that is where the key is. You're not going to to obviously improve just by losing. But now we're talking not chess. We're talking life, right? It doesn't mean that when you have a bad experience, you're going to learn from it. You're going to improve. No, but what it is is that it gives you the 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 the, 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 the this um, opportunity to grow, to learn. But it is in your attitude. It's about you going back to this negative uh, experience and trying to 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 at the end of the day, you know that happens when you 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 stop. Uh, 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 sort of being just a bystander, you know, the passenger, the victim yeah. <laughs> type of thing, you know, it's uh, very difficult to do, very easier said than done. Mm. But that happens when you take control. As soon as you take control and you say, okay, I'm going to now calculate what went wrong. That is the key. And you need that. So I'm saying this because, you know, and then you start to realize that um, even in life, you know, you, 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 you cannot go about in life in an arrogant manner. You need the competitors, you need, you need that. And, and, and also the, the, the important thing is the, not fearing uh, 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 defeat, you know, and uh, that obviously goes into life. It's the understanding that, you know, I need to try. I need to try by me trying, I get to learn what I can do what I can achieve. I can only learn that by trying. Mm. If I don't try, I, I will not know what I'm capable of and not capable of, you know? So, 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 so all of this is, is uh, it's just an example. Yeah. 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 But those, are <clears throat> all, like, uh, as you say, I mean, they're excellent life skills that would apply as much to me as to the kids you work with as to their parents, even, I mean, these are all um, incredibly good skills to learn. And um, I mean, I imagine chess also teaches you uh, self-discipline. I have no doubt. Oh, definitely. But you know, the, the the other thing is that you know, I'm happy that you just mentioned parents, 
because you know as as parents of course we would like our kids uh, to do well um we would like to give our kids the, the very best uh, uh, uh tools you know for them to 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 be able to be the best that they can be right um and uh you know but 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 for example you know in in, in chess there are many games we're not just talking about playing the game itself you know there, there are many games that you can play with 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 your kid if you just know the basics of the board you know because the the, the pieces they 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 jump from uh, uh, square to square and you can play what is called blindfold chess you don't have to use all your pieces but you could for example um i know a game where you would take a, a, a tennis ball and maybe three people and we 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 we're saying let me let me make, make an example of what i mean <laughs> um so we we're going to go back to the to to the board and uh okay, let me just get rid of all this uh these 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 highlights that i did um and i will be just be talking about something uh, briefly uh still on the issue of 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 parenting you know and uh and uh wanting to 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 sort of uh help and and find games that so so for example there's a piece in chess that moves like uh, it's called a knight right mm -hmm. so if this piece starts on b1 it will jump to c3 mm -hmm. okay it moves two squares and tens it could be also two squares in any direction it moves two squares mm -hmm. so when it was here if if here it could move two squares there two squares there two squares there two squares there but then it must 10 so it will move from from here two squares that way and 10 so it will land there right mm -hmm. so for example would we'll be playing this game without seeing the board and i would say my knight starts on b1 and then it will end up on c3 then i throw the ball to you you catch the ball then you say from c3 i will move to d5 then you throw the ball to someone else and someone says from d5 i'll move to f6 so the first person uh, and you you realize you not know, d5 f6 but remember we would be playing this game without the board mm. okay we'll be doing all of this without the board we'll be, we'll be having to visualize it's a game it's fun and whoever gets it wrong is out you know and then the, the the person who does that is the ultimate winner of the game you know or the the squares you know h1 is a white square e5 is e5 white to black you know who can guess this but it's not just about guessing it but also i want the method the methodology that you used to find e5 things like that so what i'm trying to to, to say yeah you know on the uh, as parents obviously one does want to be involved and um you know uh, chess does give one a, a a very big opportunity to 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 sort of get involved and 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 ask some questions but in a very gamey uh, atmosphere you know in an atmosphere where everyone is 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 playing mm. yeah so um can you give me a bit more information about um the academy and your role there and what's offered and what parents can expect? Yeah, so the, you know, the, 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 the Blue Pathway Academy is basically an idea of, uh, which is why I, I, I work with them. It's a, a very uh, a, a nice idea. The idea is more than anything for me in a nutshell, it's to, to try and, and minimize costs for, for specific expertise that you may not have been maybe otherwise uh, have had the opportunity to 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 um, to afford you know because we're talking about a situation where you you'll have expert uh, teachers so to speak you know and but remember you know when you are coming in there you could come in as a group so so it is it, in such a way it becomes affordable so it gives everybody a, a a a chance you know to 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 learn and work on whatever uh, that they feel they, they they should be working on and uh so for me yeah this was for me the 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 the, the selling point you know um why i i, I decided to, to work with them 
And uh, so it's a very easy process. I mean, you go to their website and whichever course that you would like and you, 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 you would enroll. But more importantly, it's not just about just enrolling for a course. You know, you know exactly what is going to be talked about. So it depends on your level. If you don't know anything about, okay, I'm just going to use chess because I'm, I'm, I'm in chess, you know. If you, if you don't know anything about chess, you would go to the beginner course. But even in the beginner course, you would say, okay, well, first let's try to see, let's do this. And then you can do that, you can do that, you know. So it, 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 I think it, it caters for everyone and it is uh, very, very affordable, you know. Yeah, so it's a very, uh, it's a great idea. I think so too. It was great chatting to you. Thank you so much. I feel like I learned so much today about chess and how it can be applied to life. And um, I hope that we'll have another discussion one day soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs>